Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a fun styling video because I don't know about you, but I have been in a bit of a style rut ever since quarantine. I haven't been able to go thrifting and frankly, I don't go anywhere. And so I've been living in the same two sweatshirts and leggings for the last month. So I wanna give a huge shout out to one of my subscribers, Victoria Kent, who gave me the idea for this video. She mentioned that she wanted to see outfits that were inspired by movies or TV shows. And so that is what I'm going to do today. I have been binge watching that 70s show and I absolutely love 70s fashion. And so today I'm going to be bringing you outfits inspired by that 70s show. So leave a comment if you have any suggestions or videos that you wanna see. If you're new and just stumbled across my channel, my name is Emma and you can think of me as your own personal stylist. I'm here to help you discover your own personal style and create a wardrobe that works for you. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification button so you know when I post my latest video. All right, so I have my wardrobe here and I'm gonna go through and pick out a few different outfits to show you that are inspired by that 70s show. So for this first outfit, I think I wanna start really simple and just do a jeans and t-shirt look. Denim was huge in the 70s and it's obviously a huge trend through that 70s show. And I'm especially thinking of Lori who wears tight t-shirts and flared jeans in just about every episode. And so I'm going to pull something kind of inspired by that to start. So I have a couple options for wide leg jeans. I do have a lot of wide leg crops, but I think I wanna do more of a full length pant. So I have these jeans, which are technically a boot cut, um, but they have a bit of a flare at the bottom that I think they'll pass for a flared jean. So I'm going to grab these. And then in terms of t-shirts, I wish I had a retro style graphic t-shirt, um, but I just don't right now. And so I'm gonna pull just one of my basic tees. And I'm gonna go with this one, which is in this sort of rust orange color. Any of those warm colors, warm neutrals are gonna be really great for this 70 vibe. And so this one is a little bit fitted. And so if I tuck it in, I think this one will do the trick. So the 70s was all about clogs. That 70s show is all about clogs and I freaking love clogs. So I'm gonna finish off this look with my mod cloth clogs just to add a little bit of height, especially because I'm wearing a full length wide leg pant. I need just that little bit of heel to help just make my legs a little bit taller. And this outfit is pretty simple on its own. So I want to add just one accessory to just vamp it up just a little bit to make it more interesting. And so I think I'm going to use my silk scarf. Jackie wears a lot of silk scarves, huge in the 70s, and it kind of ties into the shirt. It'll just make it a little bit more interesting. So this is gonna be outfit number one. Let's try it on and see how it looks. So here's outfit number one. It feels very Lori, I think, with the flared jeans and the tight t-shirt. And I think the clogs definitely make this look. In an ideal world, these pants would be more of a high rise and I think it would be perfect, but definitely gives it that look, which I think is, is great. Um, yeah, so just to jazz it up a little bit, I threw on the neck scarf, I have my sunglasses and I ended up just throwing on my little leather crossbody um, just to make it kind of a fun springy look that's inspired by that Sunday show. So that is outfit number one, not too shabby. So let's move on to outfit number two. So again, to really recreate these looks, it's really all about getting the silhouette and the color scheme right. And when I think of 70s, I think of tight sweater tops with wide leg pants. So for my second outfit, I think I'm going to use this top right here. So this one screams 70s and a lot of the characters in that 70s show wear stuff like this, whether that's Donna, Lori, Jackie, it's these sort of tighter knit sweater tops. And what I also love about this one is it has this kind of chevron stripe pattern and I think the colors are really great um, to give that sort of 70s vibe so I'm gonna pull this and the sweater is really cropped and so instead of using those bootcut jeans which are more of a mid-rise it just would be way too short I'm going to pull my wide leg crops which have a really nice high rise I'm gonna go with my darker wash jeans instead of my lighter wash just because it's that more true denim look that was huge in the 70s and I think these will look really cute. 
So in terms of shoes, it's still cold here in Wisconsin, so I'm still wearing boots. Not for long, hopefully, but for now, still wearing boots. And I think I'm gonna pull my Chelsea boots. Jackie does a look in one of the episodes where she wears a pair of wide leg crops and some brown boots. And so this kind of makes me think of that. So I think I'm gonna pull these for outfit number two. All right, and here is outfit number two. So I have on the wide leg crops. I absolutely love the dark wash. It just gives it that real denim look that was really popular for that 70s look. And what really makes this outfit is this sweater. I think the color is perfect, the fit is perfect. This is also a huge trend currently. So if you love this sort of retro trend, any of these fitted sweaters are really huge right now. If you wanted to make this a little bit more springy, you could just switch out the shoes for more of a spring shoe, like a sandal or even like a white tennis shoe, and then you could do a short sleeve sweater instead. But it's still cold here. This is still something that I would wear right now. But this is just a kind of fun casual look. And then I just kind of threw on my crossbody with the scarf tied around it just for fun. So this is look number two. All right, so moving on to outfit number three. So I wanna do a blouse. Now I don't have a ton, I only have two at the moment. And this button up for Madewell just doesn't really give me that 70s feel. However, I do have one of my favorite tops, which is this Free People kind of boho blouse, which I think will be perfect. Definitely these boho blouses were huge or you know peasant blouses, that kind of hippie style. And so I think this will definitely make a fun 70s inspired look. Again, this one is pretty cropped and so it's not gonna look great with those full length boot cut jeans. And so I think I'm just gonna reuse my wide leg crops which have a nice high rise. And since this is a dressier blouse and has that really fun boho look, I want to pull my clogs again and use those for this outfit. And then for one more accessory, I have this fun sort of wicker bag, which I think is gonna really finish off this look. So this will be look number three. All right, so this is look number three. And you guys have seen this top lots of times on my channel so far, it's one of my favorites. This is just a little bit more of that boho feminine look, um, which Jackie does a lot. Um, Donna also does a lot of kind of peasant style blouses. Um, this pairs perfectly with my high-waisted wide leg crops. And again, I think the clogs really definitely make this look. And then just added my wicker bag just for kind of a fun springy look Threw on my sunglasses and good to go. This one is a little bit more boho, but definitely still that retro 70s vibe. All right, so moving on to look number four. So for this look, I wanna use one of my sweater tanks. So I have two. I have one in navy and one in black. This was a recent purchase for me and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think sweater tanks are perfect for spring and summer. They're really lightweight and sweater tanks and sweater vests were huge in the 70s and something that they definitely wear a lot in that 70s show. Now I wish I had something that had just a little bit more color because I think it would really give it more of that 70s vibe, but it's something I don't really have. So this will definitely be just sort of an inspiration. And I also love that it has this little tie front as well. Again, I'm going to pair it with my wide leg crops because this one is cropped as well and so it's just gonna be a better fit. For shoes, I think I'm gonna use these leather Madewell sandals and I wanna give it that little bit more of a 70s vibe so I'm gonna pull my silk scarf as well. It's also gonna add just a little bit of color since this is a pretty simple look. So while this outfit doesn't scream super 70s, I think it's definitely inspired by that 70s show. All right, so look number four. So this one is definitely more simple, a little bit more subtle compared to some of the other looks. And this is a lot of times what I do with my wardrobe since I wanna try to have a more minimalist wardrobe. What I do is I replicate some of the silhouettes and some of the styles, but I do it in just a more simple way with just simple colors. So it's still gonna give me that 70s feel, but I'm doing it with pieces that are going to be much easier to mix and match and work better for a capsule wardrobe. So 
Still getting the vibe, just a little bit more simple, but I still think that it totally works. Again, sweater tanks were really huge. I just did it in a simple black, but if you really wanted to make it a little bit more 70s, you could do it in just more colors or do it with that stripe trend as well. But I think this outfit for sure is definitely really wearable, um, perfect for spring and summer, really lightweight and still fun. So that is look number four. So for my fifth look, I want to do a dress. So currently my wardrobe, I don't have a floral maxi dress, which would absolutely be perfect for replicating this style. Jackie wears a lot of floral 70s style dresses, but what I do have is this dress, which is a recent purchase from Target. And I've been really wanting to wear this, but it's still been really cold in Wisconsin. And so I haven't been able to wear this yet. So I think I'm excited to just style this one up. So this dress is a long maxi dress and it's tiered and it's more of that smock style, which is that kind of relaxed boho fit. And it's not floral, but it does have this really fun orange and pink color, which I think is very kind of 70s and it has the stripe pattern. So I think while this doesn't scream 70s, it's definitely inspired and maybe something a modern Jackie would wear. So as for shoes, I could definitely throw my clogs on with this dress, but I think I'm going to do my Madewell sandals just to go for something a little bit more casual. And I think the best bag for this one is my fun wicker bag, just to give it that little something extra. So. This will be outfit number five. And last but not least, look number five. So I absolutely love easy throw on dresses for spring and summer, and I can't wait until the weather warms up so that I can actually wear this. I don't think that this is extremely 70s, but it's definitely a modern take and works with what I have. Again, nice, long, easy maxi dress, and just throw on with some sandals. You can even do the clogs to dress it up. And then I just added this fun bag. So fun boho look, kind of a modern take on a 70s look. And yeah, so that is look number five. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that these outfits helped give you some inspiration to maybe get you out of your style rut. If you enjoyed this style of video, make sure to like it and comment down below if there are any TV shows or movies that you would love to see outfits inspired from. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.